Hi all and welcome to the next video. Um, today is very similar to the previous ones. So we're going to show you one more idea of products, another video of products, um, and then after that we're going to start moving on to reaching out to suppliers and, and the next steps of the training. Um, so today we've started with wine coolers um, as another uh, suggestion for something to drop ship. Like before, we're going to give you a list of websites where we think to go and visit and within those websites you can look at the brands, you can look at how they're set up, information they have on the websites and that's really the, how the competitors are doing something is what you want to look at, identify what's good, what's bad and then look at ways to improve it. Um, so again, you know, looking on uh, Google Shopping, searching wine coolers in here, you can see there's a big, huge list of different um, suppliers. We have went through them and, and picked a, a small selection for you um, and then looked at specific brands. Again, as you go into the, the brands of the company, here's some brands that they picked out for us. So one is as a vintage, and um, you can go onto their website and you know to reach out to them, you probably want to go to their contact page um, scroll down and you'll see they're based in France. So to contact them, you would just reach out to them in France, speak to the person who looks after, you know, uh, trade agreements in the UK or distribution and see where that call leads you. Um, I expect, because we currently also have trade agreement in place to supply wine coolers. We don't have it on our website, but it is something that we've went through this process ourselves um, and made an agreement with a, a UK distributor. So there is a company in the UK that distributes for quite a lot of these different brands and you may go down this path and find that it takes you to the same point. And then that's a single point where you then, you know, you buy from them and, and, and drop ship straight to your customer. So what to do is go into their website, give them a call and then find out in terms of uh, the process to set up a trade, trade agreement. They may or may not direct you to a company in the UK or, or somewhere else. Same if you go on to, this is uh, Dunavox, if you go on here as well, same process, go on to their contact us, reach out to them and, and again find out how, um, what trade, how to set up a trade agreement in the UK so that you can sell their products. Another one is Montpellier Appliances. Um, same process, you could be a little bit clever with this one and or, or any of them because I do know they have a uh, sales directors in the UK so you could find out who the sales director or the sales manager is, email them and then ask them about setting up a trade agreement for Montpellier Appliances. Now you do need a bit of a story or direction in terms of what you're doing when you're going to reach out to them if it's to, to ask for a trade agreement. Um, possibly you need to have uh, your website or domain or something set up or you know kind of future plans and what you're looking to do in terms of marketing advertising and this is something that we're going to cover on the next videos. Another one to, to look at is Swiss Cave um, and again you can go on to them go on to the contact us page you see they have a UK phone number contact them ask them as well to set up a trade agreement find out what the process is um, and then Vest Frost is another one and um, same process contact us form and um, contact them and then and then find out how to set up a trade agreement I would generally call even though they're European numbers rather than UK numbers instead of um, sending an email. You will find that they are probably you know very good at speaking English and very helpful and they'll point you in the right direction in terms of the process to set up a trade agreement. You also want to find out if do they have stock in the UK like if you drop ship are you drop shipping from their country to the UK or is the stock already kept here? Um, again something that we'll cover in the next videos but this gives you kind of insight in terms of suppliers to, to look at and then reach out to. So again, like the other videos, we'll give you a list of different websites to look at in terms of your competition. Um, you can go on to Google Shopping, type in wine coolers or type in like a brand in wine coolers and have a search. Look at all the different types of sellers, suppliers and look at them as a comparison. Um, if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe and share it with friends and family that are interested in building a business in the UK and keep watching for more information. 
Have a great day. Thanks.